making a life worth living and retirement worth having is about having people in our lives that matter most to us. They're the people that light us up like Christmas trees. They're the people that we long to share the holidays with. They're the people that know our souls and does, it doesn't matter whether or not we have physical gifts to give them. The reality is that most people's souls are what matter to the Lord. It's literally what goes on to heaven for any person of faith, regardless of their religious background. Most religious schools of thought talk about the passing, the transition from physicality to spirit. And openly, if you've never seen the spirit move something, you've never felt the physical realm of God, then maybe you're not praying enough in your life. I love talking about God with people who are open to my idea about the Lord, but I've had a lot of magic in my life because one lovely souled woman showed me a tool and that tool changed my life forever. It has led me through the magic and mayhem of God and I can't say enough about that. That such a girl impressed my life enough that I said, I don't know what you're talking about, show that to me and I've become a master of it for the most part. I still struggle with a lot of things just like anyone else, but what I know is it's led me to the right kind of food, the right kind of purchases, the right kind of savings and values, and that's what I believe a faith fob can do for a person. I've produced a bunch of faith fobs. I literally made them all myself. I got the jewelry, I put them together, I put them together in a certain way, there was a logic to it of what I created, then I created the marketing materials that I slipped double-sided little three and a half by four type size cards into pristine plastic bags that you package something you're trying to sell in. And do you know what happened to me? I just put all that stuff back together right before I got pulled out of my car by a police officer. When I went to pick my things out of impound, I found literally all my work almost virtually destroyed. Not only were the packages fully manhandled, but half of them were missing, and all the marketing cards that I had put into those packages carefully so that the corners wouldn't bend and that they would practically promote my faith fob were taken and removed out of those, car of those bags. I found every single card that I had carefully put in to promote those items, those religious faith products, like a cross, if you will. Found every single card ruined. Now, the amount of time it took me to create those marketing materials was several hours to figure out how to lay it out, how to write it out, how to literally put it on paper, double-sided so that it would fit in those bags pristinely and perfectly, then to print them, to cut them, and then put them in the bags on top of the item and find a way for the item to lay in there just right so that it be seen. And all the work I did in creating those jewelry crafts of Faith Bob's in various metals and various colors schemes that come with metals and come literally with sterling silver and other things was destroyed when my car went to impound. That was a violation of federal law on many areas of religious rights. Now who did that? Did the police who pulled me on my car do that? Possibly because several other items went missing. I had a camping set of fork and knife that I used to eat out of cans with completely taken. I had a historic pendulum that was literally on the back of my text that I wrote, completely gone. I had other type of pendulums that had dragons and towers that I was putting together for gifts for some people at the holidays, completely stolen. And I had a lot of the things that I made in these faith fobs, actually someone took apart and reassembled because I knew precisely why I named something something, and I knew precisely what parts of handheld piece and literally charm piece I put together. I also found most of the bags, the velvet bags that I put in to help carry those religious faith items taken from their bags. I also found all the blue bags that I put in there that were sort of more girly and sort of a satiny fabric for just the promotion of something beautiful removed from the bags too. So my expenditure on the jewelry items that I put together, my time investment for creating an art and craft, my marketing time for creating a way to sell those items to literally net me over $1,500 was openly destroyed in impound. That was a violation of federal law with regard to religious rights, not to mention all the other items that have been stolen from me that are protected under federal law. Court documents alone are not enough to say this is illegal, immoral, illicit behavior by some police officer or some sheriff or some employee of the impound in which it was left at. 
I'd like to see the video footage of the care over my vehicle. I'd like some well-established policeman to go in and do his job and take those people to jail for the destruction of property, for the violation of getting into a man's car, and for thinking that they had some right to pilfer my religious works, my crafts that are really protected underneath arts and crafts law of anyone who is an artisan in America. In life, we have moments of time to show who we are as a person in our profession. The ones that have been stalking me and hazing me since 2015 literally should get their head pulled from their asses because they've failed at every turn to do anything other than me in me to celebrate the Lord who has protected my life from a lot more than they could possibly imagine. But when they pilfered my underwear out of my locker that I have stored things in for a while, when they take other gifts that I put together for children, when they literally destroy oracle cards that I've purchased that are my rightful lawful collection as a part of my faith, they show who they are as enforcement people. And if it's literally just the management of that property where the storage unit is, somebody should go in there and do some research and watch them what they do. Openly, this has simply been Blake Ensign of Blaze Communications, LLC, although that's a funny story too. Someone apparently has and allegedly has written on my behalf to cancel my federal identification number with the government for my company. Who the hell gave them the right to do that? You see, when someone gets targeted to be destroyed, they literally do a good job of it. That's been my life. That's been my story. I'm sticking to it, and it's the 100% absolute truth. I don't lie about the things that happened to me. I could tell you about jail. I could tell you what it's like. I can tell you how horrid it is. I could tell you how many blessings I experienced while I was there. And I can also tell you about the violations of my human body from being put in a place that I could not get out of. But openly, those are stories for another day. Those are the mayhem parts of my life. But the magic of God that's in my life is always amazing. And I owe that whole experience of getting with God, of liking the Lord, of being encouraged by the Holy Spirit and all the aspects of my faith from native Indian lore across to Eastern religions and back through Christianity and metaphysical arts comes from one girl who changed my entire existence. And I love her. So go to hell if you think you have the right to tell me otherwise. Once again, real stories, real people, real ideas, really interesting thoughts sometimes other times scary reactions to what goes on in the world when we don't have the right to say no to things. But the magic and the mayhem that we talk about today is really open to how do you help people in your life and how can I help other people so that my life survives and succeeds and goes forward today. Thanks for listening.